Howdy growers, it's Jordan here, and I wanted to tell you a little bit about cover crops, because it's about that time of year where people plant cover crops, and if you don't know what they are, it's kind of a, a fertilizer replacement. What you do is you plant a certain seed and you allow it to grow and dig into the soil, and then you mow it down so all that biomass goes back into the soil and nourishes it. But there's some other cool properties about cover crops. So what I have growing here is rye, and rye is known for fixing nitrogen a little bit, but mostly known for its roots digging down and breaking up clay soils and improving the texture. This isn't even close to being fully grown yet, but you can see when I pull this out how much the roots have taken over this entire thing of soil. As you can see here, the roots have gone all the way to the bottom, and this is a pretty shallow container. So in the garden, in the ground, it's going super deep, and it's pulling as much nitrogen and bringing it near um, in the soil. When you mow this down, and when it decays and becomes a part of the soil, as well as the roots, what's left behind are all of these trails. So when you plant your garden seed, it doesn't have to spend the effort to create new trails. It can just follow down the old pathways, and that's what's called soil structure. That's why cover crops are known for that. Keep in mind that uh, there are many different types of cover crops. I've just shown you rye here, which is suitable for overwintering, meaning that you would plant it in the fall and you would allow it to be in this grass stage over the course of the winter and you'd mow it down in the spring. But keep in mind there are mustard cover crops, there are pea cover crops, you grow alfalfa as a cover crop, and they all have slightly different properties or benefits. Depends on what your garden needs.